the next concept is transistor yeah the discovery of this transistor was uh, it give it gave an, an revolutionary results in the telecommunication system so the transistor was a very useful device this transistor which can act as a switch which will act as an amplifier which can act as a feedback circuit so anyway this transistor is a multi purpose device this is also called junction transistor means the transistor definition itself says that transfer the resistance means it is from high resistance to low resistance or low resistance to high res high resistance it depends upon the biasing so these transistors initially they thought the bjt bijunctional transistor is the original transistor but many transistors are discovered after the time goes on as the as grows up so there are majorly two types of transistors npn transistor second one pnp transistor the general say about the transistor is it is a sandwich type device yeah, everyone knows about the sandwich so two bread slices between that one stuff and maybe a curry which is used to join these two bread slices that means the top portion and the bottom portion are of the same material the stuff which is joined is different from these top top and bottom so such like that top top and top top the between the stuff is like p and n so n p n transistor means one n type semiconductor and another n type semiconductor between these two one p type is joined it is, seems to be a stuff and n and n are like a bread slice such like that p n p transistor where p is one semiconductor p is also one semiconductor between these two one n is acts like a stuff means between these two one n type semiconductor is added so such like that these transistors are there these transistors has three main parts first emitter next base next collector the doping property is same because semiconductors n type and p type are formed due to the doping only so what is the level of doping where the emitter and base and collector should follow so the npn transistor or pnp transistor which has three parts emitter base collector the first part is emitter emitter is a part in the transistor which is heavily doped means suppose in npn or pnp npn pnp this is the case this is emitter this is emitter this is base this is collector such like in pnp also this is emitter this is base this is collector so let us suppose npn emitter is made up of n type of semiconductor base is made up of p type of semiconductor again collector is made up of n type of semiconductor 
emitter is heavily doped means we can give any amount of input voltage to the emitter which is maybe npn n or pnpp so heavily doped means its ability to withstand with voltage voltage is high the very next part to the emitter connected is base base is less doped heavily doped which can take any amount of the voltage whenever it is pumping to the base base is less doped that means its conductivity is very less so it cannot conduct that much of voltage that's why it is it can uh, transfer this uh, type of excess amount of the voltage are charged to the collector so that's why collector is moderately doped if you see the transistor also as a real in a physics lab the sizes are also same time emitter is in a lengthy one base is a short one and collector is moderate to the emitter and base so heavily doped emitter as a input less doped base as the functioning device and collector as an output but what we can understand in the case of the current transformation or voltage transfer through the transistors is like this suppose some amount of current is applied as a input to the emitter terminal of any transistor the current is said to be ie this ie should be equal to ib plus ic but as a rule and most of the experiments proved this one also if ie is some 100 amperes i see approximately 95 to 98 amperes ib will be 2 to 5 amperes this was true this was proved in many experiments always true so ie is equal to ib plus ic suppose if we neglect the loss at the ib we can say approximately ie is identical to ic so like this we can understand the transistors which are np and r pnp type what are the symbols for these transistors and what are the and the two scientists they have a credit to discover these two these type of transistors the two scientists which got the credit for the discovery of these transistors are first one j b dean second scientist second one who is associated with j b dean w h bretain in 1947 while they are doing the research in graham bell's lab or bell lab is so at the time grambles was died also so but uh, when they did the experiments with the objects which are placed in the bell's lab so they find these transistors these two had the credit at the same time what is the schematic symbols of the npn and pnp transistors so draw a circle draw a line yeah emitter base collector but there is a difference between npn and pnp for that purpose if you draw the arrow mark towards the emitter from base that is npn because from always the force a force of attraction uh, starts from the positive side that's why p to n where p is uh, base is a uh, doped with p so what about the pnp transistor same type so 
same line so again emitter base collector if this is the case where should be the arrow mark so it is p n p so such way can draw the arrow mark like this so these are the symbols of the npn and pnp transistors if this is the case how to connect these transistors in a circuit there are some rules if uh, we can uh, con connect the common emitter amplifier common base amplifier or common collector amplifier vbe vcc vee like that and what is the way to connect these uh, transistors in a circuit we will see now if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus